Hey y'all, Natalie here, and I am participating in Sarah Scrap's signature summer hop. Uh, I have this fun picture of my kid, and I have some new Sun Chaser by Heidi Swap, and I'm gonna play around and use my own signature style to create this layout. So I have this um, paper that has clear gesso all over it, and I have one of my favorite new stencils that I got from Echo Park. It is um, these cute little circles, like confetti circles. It's from their birthday line, and I love it so much. And I'm gonna use my favorite matte texture paste by Ranger. And I'm just gonna make a line of texture paste across the middle of the page. So while you watch me do this, I'll let you know that Sarah had this really great idea of doing a hop, but not really having any theme to it. Um, Cause she said she was just really feeling like just creating things that she wanted to do. It didn't have any rules or themes of a hop or anything like that. And so she created this hop where we all kind of work in just our signature style and I love it. It was so fun to create this page and it was such a clever idea and I feel like if you're watching this hop you're gonna love everything that everyone creates because they are doing what they do best. You know what I mean? So um, make sure to hop along. I'll put the links down below on that. So I made that stencil go all the way across the page and on anything that wasn't really stuck down well, I'm just kind of smoothing out the texture paste. And there it's magically dry. And I'm showing you, I'm gonna use those blues and greens on the inside because my plan was to use the pink stars at the top and the yellow rainbows at the bottom. I do end up changing that a little bit, but um, the colors still work really well um, because these are all colors that are in Heidi Swap's new Sun Chaser collection. So I'm predefining the area on top of my texture paste with water so that when I add the watercolor, it will kind of stay within the predefined area um, that I already put the water on. And I want it to be really bright and vibrant, so I'm gonna add a few layers here. Um, but look how gorgeously it goes in between all of those raised bits of texture paste. I love it so much. But yeah, you can see I added a lot of color there because um, I want it to be really bright and vibrant. And um, it's a lot of liquid, but it allows me to do that liquid because I put the clear gesso on the page or paper before and I made sure to coat it really well. So I, I mostly dry that, not like completely, because I do want it to blend in with the other colors really well. Um, but I do mostly dry it because I want it to also be separate. <laughs> I want a little bit of blend, but not a lot of blend. So again, I'm adding a ton of liquid just because I want the color to be super vibrant. Um, they, uh, the watercolors will tend to dry a lot lighter than the original application. So you can see right there is where the green and the blue kind of mix together and it made like this really nice um, dark teal color. So I like how they did come together. So I used my heat gun a lot. I did cut out a lot of that as well though. So you can kind of see that part is dry over on the left and I turned it upside down because I'm very right-handed and I'm just working on the other side of the page. And I'm really, anyone can do this. It's literally just like smearing color around the page, okay? Um, and then I go in with that dark teal color, which is basically the same color that the green and blue made together when they combined, but I just have it in watercolor form as well. And I'm gonna add some green. Um, the, the bottle got clogged here. Um, very typical of these types of bottles. And so I just will end up taking the top off and using my um, paintbrush inside, which is fine, but I will advise you to be careful when you do this because um, how many times have we all like knocked over our entire bottle of watercolor by doing such a silly, reckless thing. <laughs> so that would be unfortunate, especially if it landed on your page. So I'm just finishing up adding color to the um, textured part of the page. Um, I just wanted to make sure to color all of that part. And I love the way it looks. There it is, all dry. And I'm super happy with it, but we're not done because I do like to go in and I add splatter. So I'm gonna add the splatter on top of the color um, that I used, if that makes sense. I don't, that doesn't make sense what I said. The same color that I colored onto the texture paste, I'm going to add splatters with. And I do this because it adds an extra layer of dimension. And I know that seems like, what, you're just adding dots, but especially when you don't dry them, roll up, roll them up and they just dry naturally, they're darker than what is on the paper. And it just adds an extra level of dimension. You'll see what I mean here in a second when you can see the dried final thing. 
um, just adding those three colors on and I don't really care if it gets all over the white paper a lot of the paper is gonna be ripped away anyway at least at the top so and here is the final bit and you see how that just adds like a little something extra to it I don't know I love it a lot and if this looks really reminiscent of Missy please know that I did like learn everything that I know how to do mixed media wise from Missy Wooden so um, that is what I strive to be. <laughs> so, uh, I'm trying to decide how I want the papers. Cause I did decide to, to do my original idea of the pink stars at the top and the rainbow at the bottom, but I decide to cut off the top of the paper in an arch shape, like a rainbow. And I'm going to layer up a couple of pieces. So I'm just going to rough up this top edge here and layer up a couple of the pattern papers at the top. So to create this layout, I just was going through my phone and I, when my kids say something funny or, or a little cute little story happens, I will like jot it down in my notes. So I had this note from like 2020, I think, and um, I had never scrapbooked it. So I just found a picture from that same time um, of Heath that I also had not scrapbooked. And I just, they, the picture doesn't have anything to do with the story, but it was just, you know, something to put on the page. Um, like this was you, this is what you looked like when you said this cute thing. Um, so I'm right now I'm ripping this um, pattern paper in the same type of arch to add um, behind that arch. So I'm just using the white paper as a guide of ripping it. Um, but yeah, so I pulled that story out in an old photo and I decided to scrapbook this memory that I had obviously saved because I wanted it written down and I had never done anything with it. So that's why I love this hop that Sarah came up with because it's allowing me to go back and do these stories. Um, one of my things that I would consider as part of my signature style is a story and like a fun title, like something snarky, something punny, or just something silly. And so in this case, the title is the end of the quote that Heath said, which is plans of booby traps. <laughs> but it's just really cute because it's such a good snapshot of him and how he is and how his little brain works so it says we were finishing up a good movie when heath said oh i can't wait to see what their plan is because i like plans and booby traps <laughs> and they do the first time he ever watched home alone i had to watch out because he was trying to set booby traps all over the house <laughs> oh that's just our life right now with two little boys so i love it so that little strip of white up there that you see me playing with, that is a circle die cut from Alta New. Um, it's a border die, but I cut it down the middle and it looks like a rainbow. And I did this on a page a few layouts back and I didn't, it was like a happy accident when I cut it in half and realized it was a rainbow and now I wanna do it all the time because I love rainbows. And so I um, am gonna kinda like add that on. It's like a little border, almost like a little bit of lacy white that will um, extend there above the white page. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit. I did pop up the photo on foam tape and then the, the quote that he said will be the top of the page because the end of the quote is the title. So I use my favorite, Heather um, Alphas from Pink Fresh Studio to die cut the title and I only used the outline of them. And um, I didn't have an ampersand, so I had to use a different die set. I think that one was for Momenta to use the ampersand, but I like that it's like solid color. It just kind of, I don't know, gives a good interest to the page. So now um, I'm gonna stick down this little like edge border part, and I'm only gonna glue down the bottom part because I want the top part to be kind of like free flowing. So I'm gonna do that across the top of the arch there to just add a little bit of interest. I'm really happy with how that ended up looking. And then lastly, I'm just gonna embellish with um, stickers. So I'm gonna stick my affiliate link down below if you would like to go get the Suncatcher collection. It is in the store at a cherry on top right now. I highly recommend it. I basically got every paper she made. Um, I love Heidi Swap. That is another part of my signature styles that I almost always use Pink Fresh Studio or Heidi Swap in my layouts. I love it so much. And I love to do mixed media. So that's what you saw here today. Um, I have a couple of the end bits of the die cut that I used um, and they look like a rainbow as well. So I'm just kind of trimming those up to put two little rainbows down there. So I like that pop of yellow. So I'm gonna do a few different pops of yellow around the page to create a nice visual triangle um, 
when I'm embellishing here. So those um, puffy alphas are from the Suncatcher collection as well. So I really liked this little like rainbow bit that's like a tab. So I'm gonna use that at the top of the quote there. It says my favorite. And now I've pulled out Good Stuff by um, Simple Stories and it has the same mustardy yellow color. So I use a, a um, camera there on the left and then they had a um, light bulb, which to me is like a plan, an idea. And so I really liked that. And then I found that one last thing that's yellow that says adventure log. And obviously you're having an adventure when you make plans and booby traps. So I decided to use that down as the last part of my little triangle down there with the little yellow rainbow. And I do end up sticking a little bit of the foam tape behind um, the bottom part of that camera because it is off of the photo which is stuck up on foam so I wanted to make sure that it didn't get crushed when it got put into the um, album also I know there's a lot of mixed media on this I did set an entire like scrapbook album on top of the page for a little while like overnight to flatten it out so that's why it's so flat I don't always do that but it does look nicer when that happens but it also flattens out when you put it in your album also, at least if you're doing a 12 by 12, in my opinion, it gets pretty heavy. So it flattens out really well. Um, so uh, there's a little piece there that was like a half circle. What does it look like? A rainbow. So it matched perfectly with the little rainbow bit at the top of the quote. So I was really happy to discover that and add that. And I'm going to add a little bit more pink down there. It matches the pink stripe at the top of the page. And then I'm just going to add a few sequins. These are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I recently joined their design team, which is exciting. So I pulled from a couple different collections and I um, am going to add just a few pink and blue sequins to my page and then I'm going to be done. So make sure you check out the um, hop lineup down below. I know that there are so many talented friends in this lineup and they're doing their signature style and it so it can't really get better than that. They're going to create something beautiful for all of us to watch and be inspired with. Again, I'm going to put my affiliate link down below if you would like to shop at a cherry on top. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks y'all. Bye.